So the Government Accountability Office just released a report that shows the billions of dollars that we have spent on the war on drugs in Mexico. And that money has essentially been wasted and no one has been overseeing that money. All right. Now, just to be clear, just to give you some numbers, we have spent $1.6 billion to fight the drug cartels in Mexico. $1.6 billion. And um, even though that we've, we've spent that much money, nearly 25,000 people have been killed in Mexico because of uh, drug-related violence. Yes. Now, uh, the $1.6 billion for the Merit, what they call the Merida Initiative uh, has been spent over the last two years. And that's an enormous sum of money in a short period of time. And the number of people killed has gone dramatically up, not down. Now, remember, Calderon's government started this war on drugs internally in Mexico, and he says, oh, well, that cartels have been getting weaker. The evidence seems to be quite to the contrary. They are not getting weaker. The violence is way up. And the amount of drugs coming into the country has not been reduced almost at all, okay? And so what are the results? What are the quantifiable results? Nothing. Nothing. Even Hillary Clinton went to Mexico and said, it appears that American demand for drugs is insatiable, okay? Because it is. Now, when you break down the numbers of how America is spending their money, supply side and demand side, two-thirds of the money is still going to the supply side, meaning trying to... Uh, you know, break up the drug cartels, make sure the drugs don't cross the border, et cetera, et cetera. Only a third of it, about 34%, is getting uh, spent on the demand side, trying to make sure that people don't take drugs, you know, rehabilitation, et cetera, et cetera. Now, does that proportion make any sense? The proof is in the pudding. It doesn't make sense. It's not working. The drugs are just as rampant as they were before, and the violence is significantly worse. Why? It's not the drugs that are causing the violence. It's the gangs. And why do the gangs exist? Because of prohibition. We've got marijuana prohibition here. We've got drug prohibition. And just like alcohol prohibition, it ain't working. You know, but what's so mind-blowing about this story is the fact that supporters of the prohibition want to reject these facts, okay? And how, how do I know that? From one small part of this article that talks about how uh, authorities in Mexico say, oh, the reason why the violence has increased is because the drug cartels feel threatened, they're becoming weaker, so they're just projecting. Yeah, uh, that's exactly what they used to say about Iraq in the height of the Civil War, like in 2006, when everybody's getting murdered left and right, Shiites, Sunnis, everything's blown up. Bush is like, oh, that's great evidence that they're getting weaker. Yeah, it, they're not getting weaker. <laughs> they're stronger than ever. Yeah, they're stronger than ever. It was nonsense then, it's nonsense now. Uh, it's it's crazy because uh, look, I'm just afraid that we're gonna keep going down this path. Thousands of people are gonna continue dying in Mexico and in, in the border uh, cities in the United States. And you know we need to start finding ways to convince politicians that there needs to be a shift in drug policy and a shift in the paradigm. It's just not happening, and it's scary. It's scary to know that people are still supporting this massive waste of money toward a failed war. I, I'm 100% with you. One last thing. How do you pronounce that? Because I'm terrible with Spanish. Ciudad. Ciudad Juarez. Now the deadliest city in the world. How's your drug war working out for you? It's a freaking disaster. Okay. Look, I'm calling it. I've called it before. But we got to get it through their thick skulls. We're never going to win the war on drugs. It's an asinine war. It's like the war on oxygen. Okay, you think you're going to win that? You're not going to win it? It's stupid. You, you know, what could we do with $1.6 billion? Imagine if we'd given $1.6 million to Mexico for education, for building up industry, manufacturing, etc., then maybe we wouldn't have as much illegal immigration. Maybe Mexico's economy would do a lot better. Imagine if we'd invested in health care for Mexico. Imagine if we invested in health care for us. Or education for us in the United States. This is crazy. We're wasting money. We're only making things much, much worse. We've got to end this asinine war on drugs. Come on. How immune to facts are we? One more thing. As soon as politicians leave office, they tell you the truth. Now Vicente Fox, who used to be the leader of Mexico, is saying, oh, yeah, yeah, the war on drugs is never going to work. Why didn't you say that when you were in charge? And everybody who leaves office, on both sides of the border, as soon as they go, oh, well, now that I can tell you the truth, yeah, we know it's never going to work.
stop wasting our money and stop getting these guys killed. If we legalize marijuana, that's at least 50% of the entire drug trade. Do you know how much damage that would do to the gangs and how much it would reduce gang violence? 25,000 people died in Mexico over this, man. That's, that's an enormous number. Enough is enough. End this stupid prohibition. Let's get beyond it already. Man, I'm worked up.